Well hello there people, yes the HTC One is here and yes this is Sam back once again and today we're going to show you the Viper One which is a ROM for the HTC One so yeah, let's check it out Right so here it is, yes the Viper One which is a custom ROM again for the HTC One and I'm just going to give you a quick tour around it today so it's not a review, it's just to kind of show you what's out there for the HTC One right now this is probably the best ROM that I've come across. Uh, both me and my buddy at the Smoking Android Jared agree. This you just got so many options. I'm just going to show you some of them today. So, first off the bat, as you can probably tell, it just looks like an HTC one. It doesn't look really much different. It just looks like a stock one. Everything about it is pretty much stock. Obviously, as you can see there, it's kind of like got a, um, a see-through wallpaper, which is what I've been able to do. And at the bar at the bottom, this is all customised. I've changed all this. It doesn't come like this is your choice to kind of change stuff. So if you pull your notification bar down, as you can see, you've got some toggles at the top. Once again, I've customised those, put them to what I want them to be. And yes, you get this. So you get your standard kind of notification toggles, the ones that I've put there. And then you can get the actual ones that come stock on 4.2.2 for the HTC One. So again, you do get that there. And yes, you can do the whole pulling down with two fingers, one finger, etc. So, let's go into the settings and we'll show you obviously here, the settings have been completely done as well. Now, you don't have to have this, you can make it look like it's just stock, if that's what you do prefer, if I don't knock the camera over. But I thought, let's go with the whole Viper kind of theme. I like the red, I like the black. It just looks gorgeous, so I thought, screw it, why not? And you're probably telling here, everything is identical, there's nothing at all different apart from one thing which you can see there called Venom Tweaks and here it is, here it is Venom Tweaks and this is where you can do all your customization, all your modification for the actual phone itself so if you've got your about and your side swipe you get your status bar now I'm going to try and go through all this stuff but I don't want to make it a 25 minute video it could turn into that with all the stuff that's in here so as you can see there you've got your quick settings Let's zoom in a bit again for you so as you can see there you've got your quick settings in common which you've got your hide and read, so you can actually change them. So these are the ones which are on there. So I'll just show you really quick, because let's say I wanted to enable rotation, click OK, rotation, now comes at the end. Which, yeah. So again, we'll go back up there and go to hide and reorder. So I'm actually just going to turn that off and I'll see if I can show you in this one. You see there, rotation. Oh, rotation, I've actually, I've actually clicked it. Click OK. Now when I pull the bar down, it's not there, so I can't swipe to it anymore. So yeah, that's just showing that one there. Hopefully I kind of got the gist with that. Sorry, a bit, uh, a bit zoomed in. The vertical quick settings. Now this one here, which I'll show you. If you click use tabs, when you pull it down, you get this here. So you can actually do your quick settings there or quick settings there. But your quick settings effectively are all the ones I've already got on the main page. So I turn this one off because I, I don't really see a need to have this here. Maybe if you've got bad eyesight and you want to make it you know, a little bit better there. Or you want to make it nice and simple for yourself. You can have it like that as well. But again, it's not something I want. So what I do is I have it on swipe. So now if I want it there, swipe at the top and I can have it there. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off you can turn it off completely. Or you can have quick, quick settings. Is that when you pull it down, it goes straight to them. The one I'm going to have it on is is actually not have it on that at all. Because when you pull it down, it's not there. If I want it there, I can swipe at the top. I'll swipe again. You probably tell, yes. Look at that. I've got my weather, weather, weather at the top as well. Obviously, also the actual... Um, the date and time. So, I get um, your horizontal quick settings, so you long press switch order. Where it is, is when you tap and hold at the top of there, these will change through. So if I tap and hold, you, you can actually choose custom applications. Tap and hold again, it disappears. And tap and hold again, it brings them back. So it's just another way of you kind of multitasking in your own personal way. You then get your customized quick launch. That's just customizing those ones at the top. You can change the icon size. So if I were to put them to very large, and then tap and hold it, you see they're larger now. And obviously they're larger as well, so I have to swipe sideways. Personally, I pretty much, let's have a look at medium, what's medium going to look like? Medium looks okay, but personally, just to keep everything on one of them. If I go back out of that one, Sam, icon size. <laughs> to keep them personal, all nice and small, so I don't have to kind of switch from one to the other, I personally like it like that. Again, it's your own personal choice what you want to choose on there. So we have disable quick settings. So obviously, if you don't want to have that, and I'm going to do this after this video because I don't see the need for this one because I've got them all there. You can actually tap that. And then if you click the little button here, it's going to ask you to restart the status bar. It doesn't restart the whole phone. It just does just the status bar. Now when I pull it down, I get my settings button instead. 
that's something I'm going to personally keep on there because I don't really use the quick quick settings or the quick settings that come stock on Android. I prefer the ones that come in this, they're there. So it's up to you, you can choose it whether you want it or not. And then you got this, you've got your status bar theme, you can download themes, there's about 100 themes so far. Um, hide specific notification icons, so let's say you've got an application, you do not want to pop on your notification bar, job done. Battery options, again it's just pretty much changing the colour of everything, changing everything. It's all about customization. what you personally want. Status bar slider, this is one that I personally like, so if you basically tap on the top, go that way, we can see the actual screen going lighter and then screen going brighter. And again, that's something that was in originally in Samsung ROMs, I believe, um, from the S2. It's one of my favourite things of the S2. So again, we'll see if we turn down a little bit more so we don't actually blind you. So, carrier label, as you can probably see there, I've got mine seen Sam J. Pullen. You can customise it to your own. You can even add an actual picture there if you want to add a picture. Customise all this. Again, it's all customization. The volume buttons. You know, with regards to closing an application pull down, obviously toggle your ver vertical settings. Again, it's not something I'm going to have in there. And again, shake the phone. Again, it's exactly the same stuff. Again, if you get the ROM, you're going to view all this kind of stuff. You're going to find out why I'm going to try to skip through some of it. It's because when you've got a colours, again, it's just options after options after options. Um, my buddy yeah, Jared at Smoke and Android said this looks like it's kind of like AOKP, but a sense based AOKP because it just gives you everything you possibly would want in a ROM. So, again, we're going to leave the, we're just going to leave the colours for now. You've got your sense. You can add icon packs. So, as you probably tell with regards to the normal icons, they're there. So, if I go back into that and go into an icon pack, I've actually got, let's say, if I wanted this Metro one here, click home, you'll notice the icons now have actually changed. And again, there are a lot of icon packs actually in here. So if I go to the download, see there's 77, and you can go through them. And if I want to download any of them, I can just download them. This is one of the best things, I think, that, for this one. So if I click right, I want that one there. It's going to tell me what that's what it's all about. Do I want it? Yep, click download. Comes in my notification bar at the top. Oh, there we go, it's already done. And then I can click install. It's installed. And now if I want to apply it, you've got to actually go out of there and then go back into the icon pack. And you see it's there, um, that one there. If I want that, now when I press home, boom, it's now changed them ones instead. So you can probably see how fluid and how fast everything is. There's no rebooting of the phone. It's all done on the fly, which is extremely impressive to me. So obviously you can do regards to customize your menu. So you can actually change the stuff that when you're on your main screen, Obviously, I've got my back button doing that. I've got, you can change this stuff in there. Again, I like that kind of stuff there, so it's not something I'm going to change. So click OK on that one. Transparent nav bar, that's that navigation bar at the bottom. I like that um, completely transparent. Um, transparent folders, so your folders actually not, don't look like folders. They are completely transparent. Um, ch clock shortcut, you're changing shortcuts. Close the app drawer with regards to the back button. Transparent nav bar, I don't like it for that one for the actual app drawer. So as an example, in the app drawer, it's not transparent. Hopefully you can see that there, it's not transparent on that one, but you can actually make it transparent. I don't think it looks nice transparent. Um, change all the colors, of the change blink feed, as you saw there, I've changed my blink feed. So if I go onto it, the blink feed itself, as you can see there, you can see, actually, you can see behind it, that one there, it's there hopefully. There, you can see that one there. It's basically just it's actually, instead of it being a blocked color, you can actually see through it instead. And you can hide the share button as well, which I think is pretty cool. Lock screen, again, it's, it's customization after customization. It is pretty nuts. You've got your carrier caption, so you can change it. Mine says O2 UK currently. If I want to change it and put something like, I don't know, Sam is awesome. Awesome. Click OK. Hopefully, it'll have updated for me. So now it says Sam is awesome. So again, it's just all about you having what you want to have on there, which I think is awesome. Slide to unlock, that's on your actual home screen here. So if you want to unlock it, just actually, you think you actually tap it like that and boom, it unlocks the device for you. Or you can just unlock it normally. So it's entirely up to you which one you do prefer. Volume is the music keys, disable the volume keys on the actual, the main screen. Um, you know, do a toggle flashlight. So I'll bring it a little bit closer for you, so you can see there. Going back down, long press the home action. So on mine, I've actually got it set to turn on the flashlight. So as an example, when I'm on my lock screen, doing a lot of zooming and zooming out, when I'm on the lock screen, if I tap and hold the home button, what happens is my LED flat LED light comes on. And I want to turn it back off. Again, just turn the lock screen on, press the home button, and boom, it turns back off. Again, I think that's just an awesome little option. So 
and it should be something that you know a company such as HTC should put in as of standard. But again, it's our personal preference, and you can do live back action as well. Currently, I've got to say it's nothing, but you can even do a custom application, which I think is pretty awesome. Buttons, this is changing stuff, so a three finger gesture. So you can have up, down, left, and right. So as an example, you swipe three fingers up, down, left, or right. You can actually launch something specific that you want to do. Quick flashlight. This one is didn't really work for me, um, and I don't know why. It's with regards to holding the power button, I believe. It just wouldn't turn, it wouldn't work. Capacitive backlight. You can change them to automatic height, automatic default. So as you can see there, they're on, I think it's about default now. If I put the lowest, they go down a tiny bit. To be fair, I can't really see a massive difference in these. You know, it, they all look very similar to me. So it may be not something you're interested in doing. Take a picture with your home button. So as an example, if I go to the camera application, I can either press the camera button or I can press the home button and it takes the button, it just takes it instead. But I got confused earlier, I'm pressing the home button thinking, why would I go home? And as you can tell, it's taking pictures. So yeah, that, that was a bit of a confusing one. So personally, I'm not gonna have that one turned on. You can override the haptic feedback, volume wake up, so if you don't wanna press the power button, you actually use the volume button to actually turn the device on if it wants to work, there we go. Volume down to turn the screen off. That's a bit silly because if you're anywhere and you want to put your volume down, it turns the screen off instead, but again, it's your own choice. And again, it's just more customization options. Double press the home button, you can customize it. You know, if you want it to be short, long, etc. Again, they're all pretty much the exact same there. Miscellaneous shows all your phone information, your minimum free settings. You actually choose it for gas to when you want it to actually start kind of like killing applications as such. Your power menu items, pretty much standard. So as you can see there, so when I press my power button, I can customise what I want on there. Enable P PC to tool, not really something I want to do. NFC, now when your screen and you're on your lock screen off, your phone's turned off, NFC is always turned off. If you want to keep it turned on, you can actually allow it in this one. You can fake the IMEI, which I thought was a very, very naughty, but a very cool idea. You can change the DPI of the actual whole phone off the bat, which I thought was pretty crazy again. SMS screen on, so when you get a message, it turns the screen on for you. Fast storm and say, enable Wi-Fi and support, you know, signal icons. On this one, I think it's pretty cool, you can actually choose what you want. So if you're in T-Mobile US, you tick that. Obviously it shows you those, AT&T, etc, blah, blah, blah. I've put, use AT&T signal strength, so currently it's telling me I've got three. I normally get one to two in my house, but use the AT&T one. It makes them look like I'm getting a better signal than I am, so that makes me feel a bit better about being on auto on this phone. Disable the volume sounds, so if you do enable that one, when you're actually doing your, um, your volume up and down, so as an example, it no longer makes the noise on there, it's completely silent, which I think is pretty cool. Put that volume back on there, get back into that one. And you can enable the Sony Bravia engine. I've turned it on, but I've got to be honest with you, I can't really tell much of a difference. So yeah, advanced. This is, again, something that a lot of people may not use, but the option's there, so you can fix permissions, so if something's not working, then why is it not working properly? Fix your permissions, and hopefully, it should fix those mismatches. You can zip line all your APKs, should generally give you a bit of better performance, kind of make them a little bit smaller, I believe, but not something most people want to do. And you can fix your widgets, so if your widgets have broken, obviously click that one on there. You can wipe your cache, wipe your Delvic cache, uh, use a custom font, and here you can use a custom boot animation, down animation, boot sound, etc. Again, it's just all options after options. On this one, if you've got a kernel that supports it, you may be able to overclock your actual um, CPU itself currently. It's at 1.7, and the bottom one, uh, hopefully you can see that there, is 364 megahertz. So when the screen's off, or I'm not doing much, it's on there for you. So that's most of the actual settings with regards to that. There is also, if I can find it, the v the Venom Hub as well. So that would be the bottom, so we've got your Venom Hub. And in the Venom Hub, this is where you can actually download all of your kind of like packs and whatnot. So you've got your sense packs, your status by, your status logos, operator logos, backgrounds, you name it, they're all here. And it's all built within this one application. So when new kernels become available and are on there, you'll be able to download them from here straight off the bat. Um, icon packs for sense. There are quite a few, 77 already, so there's those icons I showed you earlier. You can do status bar logos, so you can actually change it, and there's 171 of those at the moment. As you can see, it's going to take a while to download those ones. So I'll actually go out of there. That's pretty much what they're for, so obviously they're all there for you straight away. 
the main aspects of this font is customization, customization, customization. So, so yeah, there are a lot of settings. I've not gone through everything. It's still like about a 15, 16 minute video, maybe even longer with regards to once I've edited it, edited the actual video. But that is the Viper one for the HTC one. Sorry, I rambled on a little bit. I'm gonna probably make a short video. So if you wanna watch the short video, then obviously you can click there. But you've probably watched this full one, so what's the point? <laughs> anyway, people, if you enjoyed this video, and obviously, you know, it's a quite long video, please do hit the like button. It is very much appreciated. I've got some more HTC One coverage if you want it. If you hit the like button, then I know you want it. If you don't, then obviously I'll probably do some more Galaxy S4 stuff, regards to rooting and stuff like that. Who knows? But yeah, if you want to subscribe, please do hit that subscribe button. It is very much appreciated, you? You'll see me all in my next video. Cheers, everyone.